Not to be confused with the German University of Potsdam in Berlin-Brandenburg the State University of New York at Potsdam, also known as Sunny Potsdam, or, colloquially, Potsdam, is a public college in the village of Potsdam in St. Lawrence County, in the U.S. state of New York. Founded in 1816, it is among the oldest colleges in the United States. It is composed of the College of Arts and Sciences, the School of Business, the School of Education and Professional Studies, and the Crane School of Music. History Potsdam was founded by Benjamin Raymond in 1816 as the St. Lawrence Academy. In 1834, the Academy was chosen by the New York State Legislature to exclusively offer a teacher education program for its senatorial district. With funds from the state, and from support by Preceptor Reverend Asa Brainerd, the first diploma in teaching was given in 1836, thus beginning the Academy's and eventually the college's long-standing tradition of excellence in the field of teacher education. In 1866, the state legislature ended its funding of teacher education departments in private academies, and began establishing several normal schools throughout the state. The village of Potsdam was thus named as one of four locations for new normal schools, and in 1867, the St. Lawrence Academy became the Potsdam Normal School. By 1886, the Potsdam Normal School had become the first institution in the United States to offer a normal training course for public school music teachers in the United States. Founded by Julia E. Crane, the Crane Normal Institute of Music continues today as the world-renowned Crane School of Music as a leader in the field of music education. The State University of New York was founded in 1948, and Potsdam became one of its founding members, and was thus renamed New York State Teachers College at Potsdam. In 1964, the college's mission changed to providing multiple programs, and the university adopted its current name. During the 1980s, despite the college's traditional strengths in music and education, the college gained recognition for its quickly blossoming mathematics program under the guidance of Clarence F. Stevens. Known as the Potsdam Miracle, Stevens transformed a practically non-existent department to having the third largest number of mathematics majors of any institution in the United States during his tenure. The college had a total enrollment of approximately 4,500 students and approximately 930 freshmen entered Potsdam in 2010. That was the biggest first-year class since 1982, and an 11.4% increase over the previous year's incoming freshman class, which had 835 students. Topic campus The campus is in the small village of Potsdam, near the Canada-United States border. It is situated in the St. Lawrence Valley, between the St. Lawrence River and the foothills of the Adirondack Mountains. It is about 10 miles northwest of the border of the Adirondack State Park in Parrishville. The school sits on 240 acres 97 hectares and consists of 44 buildings. Barrington Drive runs through the center of the campus, with all academic buildings on the northwest side of the street, and all campus life and residence buildings on the southeast side. The Crane School of Music campus is in the northern part of the campus, east of the academic quad. The college has two libraries, the Frederick W. Crum Memorial Library in the center of the academic quad, and the Crane Music Library in Chouette Hall at the Crane Complex. The college also has six performance facilities, Hosmer Hall, Snell Theater, and Wakefield Recital Hall three venues in the Crane School of Music, the Proscenium Theater, the Black Box Theater, and the Dance Theater three venues in the college's new Performing Arts Center. The college also houses an art gallery and the Maxie Hall Athletic Facility. Sunny Potsdam is home to the Charles T. Weaver Anthropology Museum, a teaching museum that allows students to curate exhibitions and have hands-on experience with the museum's collection. 
Also on campus is the Art Museum at Sunny Potsdam, also known as the Gibson Gallery, which stresses its mission to connect students, faculty and all those on campus with visual art, the affiliated non-profit organization that provides dining services and runs the Union Market and College Bookstore on campus is known as PACES or Potsdam Auxiliary College Education Services. This organization is the largest financial supporter of the college, annually donating significant portions of their proceeds back to the college in support of scholarships and other initiatives on campus. Student activities, Welcome Weekend Carnival First Saturday Friday Night Movie Series Family Weekend Rocky Horror Picture Show Dance Athon Jailhouse Rock Winterfest Snowball Springfest Relay for Life Chicken Dancing Theater and Dance Productions Opera Concerts at Hurley's Mr. Per Mega Second University Athletic Games and Intramural Sports Bear Con Hack Potsdam Athletics. <laughs> <laughs> In 1981 and 1986, under Hall of Fame coach Jerry Welsh, the Potsdam Bears basketball team won the NCAA Division III National Championship. In 1979, 1982, and 1985, the Potsdam Bears were national runners-up for this title. The Sunny Potsdam men's ice hockey team has competed in the NCAA for 27 years, from 1976 to the present. Most recently, they played in the State University of New York Athletic Conference, which is a Division III athletics conference. The 1995–96 men's ice hockey team won the hockey program's only SUNYAC title in school history, under Hall of Fame coach Ed Sini. Sunny Potsdam Athletics were recently placed on NCAA probation due to an inadvertent error in the awarding of international student grants. The teams affected by the NCAA probation are men's and women's hockey, women's volleyball, men's and women's lacrosse, and women's soccer. ROTC Many sunny Potsdam students participate in the Army ROTC and Air Force ROTC programs. Students can apply for ROTC scholarships to the university, and may commission as officers in the United States military upon graduation. <laughs> Army ROTC Sunny Potsdam is a partner school of the Golden Knight Battalion, one of 272 Army ROTC battalions in the United States. Sunny Potsdam students are the second largest group represented in the battalion, which is composed of approximately 100 ROTC cadets. The headquarters for the Golden Knight Battalion is at 49 Elm Street in downtown Potsdam, where it has been for decades. <laughs> Notable faculty emeriti and alumni Ernest Blood, basketball coach, enshrined in the Basketball Hall of Fame Stephanie Blythe, opera singer, mezzo-soprano Carol. Kiki. Brit, professor emeritus, music business T. Corahesson Boyle, author Mark Butler, politician and member of the New York State Assembly Michael J. Colburn, 27th director of the United States Marine Band Mike Dean, former Division I head basketball coach Daniel Decker, composer and recording artist F. Richard Ferraro, Chester Fritz Distinguished Professor of Psychology, U. North Dakota, Editor-in-Chief, Current Psychology René Fleming, Opera Singer, Soprano Arthur Frackenpole, Professor Emeritus, Composer and Author David J. Hansen, Professor Emeritus, Alcohol Researcher S. David Kennedy, acclaimed humorist and former Volvo enthusiast Morris Kenny, Emeritus Writer-in-Residence, Poet, Editor, Publisher, and Essayist Stanley Kunitz, former U.S. Poet Laureate Chris Lee, Ice Hockey, Professional Hockey Player, KHL All-Star 
Brock McElheron, Professor Emeritus, Conductor and Author Dimitri Pitters, Opera Singer, Tenor Samuel H. Platt, Composer C.J. Rapp, Entrepreneur and Beverage Executive, Creator of Jolt Cola William Buell Richards, First Chief Justice of Canada Patricia Ritchie, Politician and Member of the New York State Senate Stephen Savoyer, two-time Pulitzer Prize-winning photographer Daniel Schaefer, politician, former U.S. Representative from Colorado Clarence F. Stevens, Professor Emeritus, Mathematics Educator Joy Tanner, actress Paul Tynan, jazz musician David Valesky, politician and member of the New York State Senate Lisa Vroman, singer and stage actress, soprano Robert Washburn, Professor Emeritus, Composer, Author and Educator Jay Wanamaker, President and CEO, Roland Corporation U.S. John G. Jerry Welsh, Athletic Director Emeritus, Two-Time National Division III Basketball Coach of the Year Tim Welsh, Former Head Basketball Coach at Providence College Eileen Welly, Executive Vice President for Human Resources at the Hartford Financial Group John Zakor, Writer, Cartoonist Robert Zimmerman, Poet and Author of From Where I Stand Topic In pop culture The university was mentioned in the American comedy TV series Will and Grace, in its 81st episode, Dying is Easy, Comedy is Hard, guest starring Rosie O'Donnell. Topic. A cappella Sunny Potsdam has four a cappella groups on campus, the Potsdam Point Accounts 1993 present, the A Sharp Arrangement 1994 present, the Potsdam Pitches 2007 present and Stay Tuned 2012 present. All four groups have competed in the ICCA's International Championship of Collegiate a cappella run by Varsity Vocals. Topic. Potsdam Miracle The Potsdam Miracle refers to the unusual success of the mathematics department at Sunny Potsdam, USA, under the guidance of Dr. Clarence F. Stevens, in attracting large numbers of students to become successful mathematics majors. For example, in one year, about 25% of the degrees conferred by Potsdam were in mathematics and over 40% of the institution's honor students were mathematics majors. The 184 majors that year was the third largest number of colleges and universities in the United States. Seven of the eight valedictorians for the period 1980-1987 were mathematics majors. No student who graduated from Sunny Potsdam between the time of its founding in 1816 and the arrival of Stevens in 1969 is known to have earned a Ph.D. in mathematics. However, 12 students who graduated during Stevens's tenure are known to have done so, half of them women. The Potsdam miracle confirmed the effectiveness of the Potsdam model of mathematics education. The model is based not on lowering student standard but in raising teaching standards. In explaining the program in Dilip Dutta's book Math Education at its Best, the Potsdam Model, Stevens said his primary goal was to create the most favorable possible conditions for students to learn and for faculty to teach. He and a team of other student-oriented faculty members taught a course. How to read mathematics literature with understanding and to become independent learners to students early in their study of mathematics. For undergraduates, that was typically in the freshman or sophomore year, while for graduate students it was during their first year. The Potsdam model is based on the premise that the study of pure mathematics can be undertaken successfully by a large number of students if they are provided with a supportive environment including, careful and considerate teaching by a well-trained and dedicated faculty, continual encouragement, successful student role models, enough success to develop self-esteem, enough time to develop intellectually, recognition of their achievement, and the belief that the study is a worthwhile endeavor. 
Stevens had largely developed his ideas and earlier implemented them at Morgan State College now Morgan State University. Although no graduates of Morgan are known to have received a Ph.D. in mathematics, nine did so during his tenure there. Hence, the Potsdam model is sometimes called the Morgan-Potsdam model. <laughs> 